For almost a decade, Paul Ekman and the Dalai Lama have been having conversations about human emotions and science. He and I inexplicably connected. And uh, he wrote about that in uh, one of his most recent books, The Universe in a Single Atom, that uh, he felt this immediate connection. Uh, more recently, he's told me, well, you know, we were brothers in a previous incarnation, and uh, I can't explain it. I mean, in the Western terms, we'd say it's a deja vu. When I met him, I felt like I'd always known him. And uh, so he's very amused that he can explain it and I can't. <laughs> uh, but I, I, when I met with him earlier today, I gave him my interpretation of reincarnation. We were holding hands at that point, and I put another hand, and I said, no, I don't want this to offend you, but how, here's how I interpret reincarnation as a Western scientist. That it, it, it's a brilliant metaphor, tw almost 2,600 years old, for the idea that when we enter the world, we're not tabula rasa. When we enter the world, we are in part Part of our story is already written. Now, they didn't know at that time that reincarnation, how the past influences the present, but it does, and it does it through genes. So we have now discovered the mechanism that shows the influence of the past. So then we got into a very interesting thing, because the, if you take people who show what I call heroic compassion. It's one of one, two, three, it's one of four types of compassion that I'm distinguishing now that I talked with him about both in the book, but I've changed the positions a little bit. Would you expect, if you have heroic compassion, if you're the person who jumps into the subway and pulls that person out without thought, a total stranger, or rescues a total stranger from the pond, perhaps losing your own life so that they don't drown. Would you find in their family line, in their grandparents, or uncles, or aunts, cousins, would you find others who have this proclivity? No, says the Dalai Lama, because it's not genes, it's past karma. Yes, says Paul Ekman, it's gene. So we now have a way to test these two different ways of interpreting past influence.